Okay, so here's a video on how to make a homemade oxygen cone uh, from a water bottle. You just want to find a standard appropriate water bottle that will fit the animal's snout or muzzle. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut this bottle in half here and we're going to keep the side with the cap and the lid first. And I'm going to cut that and I'll be right back. I'm also going to remove the label here just so it's easier uh, to be visible inside of there. Okay, so now I've cut that in half and I have kept the side with the lid here. And what you want to do is go ahead and screw that on tightly and then just go ahead and drill a hole right there in the center of that, right? It's kind of got a mark there for the center where the equipment closes that cap off when it extrudes the plastic. But go ahead and drill that out there to fit the oxygen tubing um, from your concentrator or oxygen tank. Okay, so now what I've done is I've drilled that whole piece, and I had an actual um, adapter that would fit the end of this. If you don't have that piece, you can simply just drill a hole into the cap and tap it back. We carry these on our website, these little um, adapters here, which is just a large to small bore. Um, oxygen adapter is actually what it's called. You just look that up online. We sell those, which will fit actually right down into the water bottle. You don't even need to drill this out. It'll fit down into the end. I'll show you what that looks like here. So if you want to go that route, that is what that looks like. It fits just snug down into the end of the water bottle there. But if you don't want to go that route or in one of those, you really can just drill a hole into the end of the cap there that'll fit the tubing. Um, just measure that out where it'll fit the end of a standard piece of oxygen tubing is fine. I had the adapter, so it was easy to do, and I just wanted to show you a couple options there for making this homemade oxygen cone. Next thing I'm going to do is connect the end of the tubing um, to the homemade oxygen cone. And so that is what it ends up looking like with the adapter piece there. And you can pressure fit that in there a little tighter if you want. It fits pretty snug. And then the animal's muzzle will go down on this end. And you can hook the other end directly of the oxygen tubing directly up to your concentrator or tank. You can also, if you feel these edges are sharp, which this plastic here, it's, it's not sharp. I got a pretty clean cut on it. It doesn't seem to be sharper where it's going to bother the animal. But you could put some edge trimming um, on the end of this. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I had some just kind of foam rubber edge uh, 3M, uh, kind of like edge guard, if you will, and it's just rubber. So if you felt that the edges were sharp, you could do something like this, and that will make your homemade oxygen cone. And again, you can use this for a puppy, kitten, or small animal struggling, and then hook the other end. If you don't have a... a oxygen cone you can hook this oxygen tubing into your concentrator or tank um, you can use this inside of the uh, incubator one of our lifeline pet supplies incubators or the um, arcom incubator the lifeline pet supplies incubator has a direct connection inside that'll allow you to hook up a, a short piece of oxygen tubing to the internal connector and run the connection to the concentrator directly from outside so that you can use this for a direct to face application and this will help pull a gasping puppy or kitten through um, sometimes can mean the difference of life and death if you don't have a oxygen cone on hand this is an easy way to make one uh, from a water bottle or um, two liter bottle any size that will appropriately fit the um, animal that you need to provide oxygen to and thank you for choosing LifelinePetSupplies.com. We hope this is a helpful tip for anyone raising neonate animals.